Greetings, I am Kanaya Miller. Uh, my name is Eloy Anzualda III. I'm a senior at Immokalee High School. My name is Joel Guerrero. I'm from Immokalee High School. Hello, my name is Lisbeth Wapia and I am attending Florida Southwestern College. I'm going to FGCU and I decided I'm going to study in biology to go to dental school. I would be majoring in pre-biomedical engineering pre-med, so I would like to come back home after I graduate and potentially work at Arthrex and build a career there. Starting in June, I'm going to be attending the University of Florida, a home of the Florida Gators. I'm excited but nervous, not knowing what to expect after graduation. I know it's going to be really tough, but I'm, I'm excited. It's bittersweet in a way, since I'm leaving everything I know, but it's excellent and exciting to start that next chapter in my life. I come from a farm working family. Everyone in my family, besides my mom, they work in the fields. And I think it's a big pride for my family for me to be able to graduate high school. It was not until middle school where I told my mom, like, I had a talk with my mom and I told her, I'm like, I want to stay here in Immokalee. Like, I want to stay here because I feel more at home here. I feel like more, it's, more people are here that I know. There's always love and that's one thing that I really appreciate about coming from this community is that no matter what your background is or who you are, you know, everybody loves everybody. Immokalee um, is a small community. Um, it's a very hardworking community. It has a, um, a diverse culture of um, uh, um, Mexicans, Haitians, um, African Americans and um, it's they're very proud of their roots and where they come from. Well, this is a beautiful place. This is one of the rare places on earth where you come and it doesn't matter who you are. All you have to do is work for what you have. It doesn't matter if, if you're working hard labor, it does not matter if you're working in the classroom, it doesn't matter if you're doing both. And you really get a sense of humility when you come to this community and open arms because of how diverse it is. The Maki Foundation has been a part of my life since I was in kindergarten, actually. I started in their iReaders program, and then I moved up into their middle school program, and then their high school program, and now I'll be going into their post-secondary program. They've helped me a lot as far as, you know, uh, learning different life skills such as time management and being productive but they've also helped me build connections and networking and helped me make internships and I've been had the blessing of even starting working and having a job through them through their iReaders program giving back to kids as a tutor did for me when I was younger. Well in sixth grade when I joined the Immokalee Foundation you join it and I didn't know what to expect. I came in fresh minded I didn't know that it was going to open so many doors for me in the future. I had an idea of what I wanted to do. I had an idea. I love fish. I love sharks. I wanted to go and study that, but I didn't have an application for it. I didn't have an idea of how I was going to get from point A to point B. And when I got into the foundation, I sort of stumbled into probably the best, best thing I ever stumbled into. And the people were so inviting. They were so personable. They were so nice. They were so humble in the same way that I was looking for an opportunity. They were willing to give me that opportunity to prove myself and earn my stripes.